Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's Jayla Danae. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by today's title, I am going to my first model call today. I was gonna get ready with y'all, but I just was rushing and stuff and I was really nervous. This bra strap is gonna piss me off. I just got ready and I'm about to go. I'm almost about to be late, so I need to hurry up because it's like three hours away. But I just wanna show y'all my outfit and yeah, so hold up. Okay, so this is the outfit. So I have on some black jeans with rips. These are from Rue 21. And then I have on a black tank top. I don't even know where it's from. It might be from Walmart. I really don't know. And then I have on these heels that are from um, shoe department. Yeah. And they're like heels that I know how to walk in because I don't know how to walk in heels. So, yeah. And then my hair is just like half up, half down with this bang in the front i barely have on any makeup yeah so we gotta go because it's three hours away and yeah so i'm gonna talk to y'all when i get there i'm gonna hopefully try to vlog everything because you know this is my first ever model call like ever like i made my own comp cards and everything so i'm gonna show y'all all that stuff and if y'all want a video on how to make your own comp cards because i literally took my own pictures and made my own comp cards printed them out everything and um yeah so i'm about to get ready to go and i do want to do plus size modeling so you know obviously i'm a bigger girl so yeah um this is just for all my plus size girls out there like if your body is not the typical body you know what i'm saying like the typical body you can do whatever you want if you want to model you can model if you want to sing you can sing if you want to dance you can dance whatever you want to do you can do it just put your mind to it and i'm trying to go out here and be confident and really just put on for me and all my girls okay so yeah i'm about to just go show y'all what i have packed in a bag and i'm gonna show y'all my comp cards and then we about to go because baby about to be late so some of the stuff i'm bringing is a brush some deodorant um some perfume a comb i'm bringing a scrunchie and here is my comp cards so i did do two this one is like you know like the regular comp card like with your body on it and stuff and all my measurements and then this one is my headshot. I really like this one. I might use this one because you can use either or. So I might use this one because I don't really know. Like this is like kind of cropped right there. So I don't know. But yeah. So let's go. I'm really really nervous to the point where I'm like should I even do this and I'm about to walk in so wish me luck like look at that face ew that's only four hours away take a car take a plane baby whichever is faster oh whichever one is in a house oh damn yeah oh never knew no I never knew that you be a freak and a friend too yeah you into everything I'm into oh I got something that I could lend you Oh, a peace of mind, baby. Come and get a peace of mind. Hey, y'all. So, it is a few days. Well, I ain't even gonna lie. It's a few weeks later. But I just wanted to come on here and give y'all the rundown of this video. And just, like, give y'all a breakdown of what happened, like, at the event. Basically, I got there and I had to give them my comp card and... And then I just got a number and I sat down and we waited for everybody else to come. And then when everybody came, then we started doing like practice walks because it was for a fashion show. But me personally, I don't wanna do fashion shows. Like to start out, I wanna do like photo shoots and stuff. Like that's what I wanna do. That's what I'm interested in. But this was a fashion show and I just wanted to do it just to get out there, you know, just to get a little taste because like I said, I never did this before and this was my first time doing something like this so yeah um we did some practice walks or whatever and like my first time walking like mind you i didn't practice at home i knew i know i should have practiced at home but i didn't practice at home which was on me i definitely regret that because if i would have practiced i would have been more comfortable but i didn't practice at home i really thought in my head that i was gonna go to this place and i was gonna wing it like 
please. These are people that are experienced and they know what they're doing. They can tell some bullshit. You're not bullshit, but they can just tell when you haven't practiced. And I didn't practice. And when I was doing my practice walks, I literally just wasn't really comfortable and I wasn't really doing it. Like, you know, I was kind of walking fast and kind of just trying to just get away. You know what I'm saying? Because, it, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. Then the designers, I came there and they was basically watching everybody walk and they were um, basically scouting if you want to call it that's basically what they're doing they're like scouting a mo the models that they want to pick for their their uh designs for the fashion show um so then we had to do a high fashion walk and a personality walk so we walk in and we had to do like two of each i think and I, it was just like torture for me because i didn't know what i was doing and the fact that I had to keep walking and keep walking was just killing me. Like, high fashion walk and a personality walk are like two different walks that you have to do. And I didn't even know how to do the high fashion walk. So baby, y'all wasn't getting no personality walk out of me. Like, so yeah, I definitely kind of regret that. I feel like I should have practiced more and I should have had more practice, but that was definitely my fault for procrastinating and just, you know, like, hello. Yeah, it was, it was a really good experience though. Like I talked to a few people and just show my face like that's enough like you know what i'm saying i did not get picked for the fashion show because it was it was also a lot of people there that were very very experienced and you know that i just didn't know what i was doing and that's perfectly fine but like i said fashion show is not really my tea but i i would do it if it gets me like the exposure or whatever um my advice to y'all if you're thinking about modeling is definitely go do it but also do your research and also come prepared. Don't be like me. Don't show up to a model call for a fashion show not knowing how to walk in heels, okay? Don't do that. Well, I recommend to bring an extra pair of shoes. If you have to wear heels, bring some shoes that you can change into because I didn't do that, okay? I didn't bring nothing in there with me. I literally just came in there with myself and my purse and my phone and my lip gloss. Don't forget to shop Danae Beauty Co. And yeah, so that's all I came in there with. And after we was done walking and I had to walk to go to my car. Oh, my feet were hurting so bad. Me? No. No. That ain't for me. My feet was busting out the shoes. Like, literally, they was busting out the shoes because I had been standing up for a long time. And it was just too much. I'm very, 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 very proud of myself for doing this and stepping out of my comfort zone. Because if you know me, you know that... I've always been insecure. I've never had confidence. I've always been like, you know, my self-esteem always kind of been low because I've always kind of been like a chubbier girl. So the fact that I really stepped out of my comfort zone and did this, it makes me so happy because it just shows how much I'm growing and it shows how much I'm actually going after what I want. Like, but this was the first ever event that I went to and this is definitely not the last. I'm about to get my you know I'm about to get my name out there and start doing a lot more and putting a lot more content out there to get people to recognize me and stuff like that but yeah i'm just really really proud of myself for putting myself out there like when i was really in the moment i'm just like wow like i'm really here like i would never think in a million years that i would be here doing this because it's just not my body it's just not me it's like the fact that i'm putting my body out there is just just beautiful and this is for everybody that's hating on me because I've been getting a little bit of hate on my body my personal body like what are you hating on my body for you know what i'm saying but it's all part of the process you don't have haters then you're not doing something right you know mm -hmm. i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel we about to hit 400 subscribers like i'm so excited but yeah i love everybody who supports me and i hope y'all have a good rest of your day good rest of your morning good rest of your night whatever it is stay safe stay blessed and yeah love you bye